Uh, welcome to a new video about the Xperia 5 Mark II and the latest leaks. After I brought you the Xperia 10 Mark II and the Xperia 1 Mark II uh, leaks and a summary of those leaks, I'm now targeting the Xperia 5 Mark II. In a few days we know better because the Xperia 5 Mark II will be released, but I can summarize what the leaks say and there are some leaks that look like official videos directly from Sony so we can be pretty sure that this will be happening. So first things first, it will be a compact device just like the Xperia 10 Mark II or the predecessor Xperia 5. It will have something special, a 6.1 Full HD Plus display, the same as last year? No! because it will have a high refresh rate display, 120 Hz high refresh rate display. So Sony finally jumps also on the bandwagon of high refresh rate displays for flagship devices. And this shows again that Xperia 5 Mark II is also a flagship device. And not only this, for gamers it will be very interesting if you just game like this. It will have 240 Hz refresh rate of touch input, so your touch will not have any lags, especially if you're um, playing some shooter games or something like this. It will inherit a 12, triple 12 megapixel uh, camera system from the Xperia 1 Mark II, with a slight difference, the missing 3D time of flight sensor. Because time of flight sensor doesn't really fit into the Xperia 5 Mark II, so they left it out. That doesn't mean that the tr fast 20 frames per second autofocus in burst mode will be missing, because this is apparently a feature that sits on the sensor itself. So the main uh, shooter of the Xperia 5 Mark II will also be able to shoot 20 frames per second fast burst shooting. One thing that I'm not so sure the Xperia 1 Mark II has is a 4K 120 frames per second mode. This will be available for the Xperia 5 Mark II and maybe later come to the Xperia 1 Mark II as well. So not only 4K 60 frames per second, but 120 frames per second will be possible on a smartphone, which is really, really cool. The rest of the specs is known. Snapdragon 865, uh, 8GB of RAM, one very interesting thing, this here has 3600 mAh battery, but in this yeah, little bad boy, mm, we thought mm, nothing more can fit in. But the Xperia 5 Mark II somehow manages to fit in 4000 mAh, so a little bit more than here, which means it will have the great, great battery life of the Xperia 1 Mark II. And it will come, of course, also with a 3.5 mm headset, um, headset jack, of course, on the top, which allows you to listen to music. And of course, it will have the extra chips for uh, stereo. So you have stereo speakers on the front, li just like on the Xperia 1 Mark II. And we will have the stereo separation, better stereo separations and extra chips that help uh, improving the sound, as well as the software that you know from Sony, that uh, DS-EE. Uh, HX, which is uh, there for enhancing sound when it comes to the uh, compressed sound. And of course Dolby will be there available as well. So the only thing is, what will be the price? So you th saw the Xperia 1 Mark II being slightly overpriced. What about the Xperia 5 Mark II? So the Xperia 5 Mark II, I think, will be around $1,000-ish, maybe a little bit uh, under. I really personally would hope like 800 uh, euros or $900 maybe or $800. This would be selling out hot cakes, I would say. But uh, without this, yeah, it will be a little bit harder. If it's $1,000 uh, or euros, it will be hard to sell it, even if it's a compact and one of the last flagship compact phones, uh, despite maybe the I uh, iPhone um, SE2. Uh, what will be missing in comparison to the Xperia 1 Mark II? Sadly, the wireless charging uh, yeah, is missing, obviously, from the Xperia 5 Mark II. They don't have space for it to put it in. If they put a, a 4000 mAh battery in this little um, uh, fella here, it is really, really hard to put in also a wireless uh, charging coil in, uh, as well inside, apparently. Um, what do you think about it? What are your opinions about Xperia 5 Mark II? You can write them in the comment sections. Is this 
the killer flagship device from Sony is it even better than Xperia 1 Mark II because you get the high refresh rate 120 Hz display you get the good camera system you get the more compact format and the only thing missing is the wireless charging eventually I'm not 100% sure about it I heard rumors here and there that wireless charging will be missing from the Xperia 5 Mark II but maybe Sony will surprise me and surprise us and will have a very, very good flagship killer like uh, phone from Sony and uh, in a compact form. And uh, yeah, hope we will see more in a couple of days and it will not be so expensive as the Xperia 1 Mark II. And that's everything for this uh, video. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, and all the shenanigans. And until the next time, bye.